every day is big day Swipe my card, then I do the day day You talking to a late day I want a kind day, yeah, not a right day So that's a no-no I'ma make that in music, fuck up This combo be like Dre, I already know what you're trying to say Ooh, 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 these Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial and before we get into the makeup tutorial I'm sure you're wondering like what the hell happened? Um, I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, but if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would have already known what all of this is because yesterday, which was Sunday, the... Um, maybe the fourth, maybe the third, I don't know, um, before Labor Day, because today is Labor Day, I went to Ikea and I got the Mickey desk, because I had been wanting the desk for a very, very, very long time, and I just never, like, I always kept putting it off, but I'm like, I really want my desk, so I got some money, and I was like, let's go ahead and get it, so I got the desk, and then I went to Menards, and I got these little, like, strip, like, vanity lights, there's four of them, um, and then I put that up and then my mirror and everything else pretty much I already had um, that was all on my desk and my desk looking back at it looked very very cluttered it looked like there was just so much and this desk is so long that <laughs> I don't have I have a lot of things but I chose to get rid of the um, little Walmart cases because they just didn't look as clean and crisp and everything like that to me so I put everything that was in there in the acrylic cases or in my drawers but um, I will be doing a filming setup video for you guys because I've heard a lot of you guys asked me, well not really heard, I've read a lot of you guys asking, you know, where I film and, you know, a setup and everything like that. And if you guys like the setup, I'll still do it. Um, but I'm really, really excited and really happy that I went to Ikea and got the desk. Like, last night my, like, my blood was just pumping and I was just really excited and I was just so happy and I just love it, you guys. Um, so I hope you guys like the background. I'm thinking about painting this wall a color. You guys give me some suggestions. I really want to paint it a color, but... At the same time, I kind of want to keep my room white. It's not very paint. It's not painted very well because I did it, um, and I kind of had an attitude with Jack, and it's just like really, really bad um, and really old. So if you guys do have any suggestions, then just leave them down below for me, please. And getting into this look, this look is just a neutral smoky eye, which I've been doing a lot lately, but it's with a brown lip, and this is ColourPop's Limbo, and I wore this in my Snapchat video a couple of days, or a, like last week, and it was the color that's on my lid, which is Millionaire, and also Limbo, and a lot of you guys are saying how you loved it, and how I made you guys go ahead and buy it, those of you guys that are my Snapchat family, <laughs> so uh, this lip color and this eyeshadow is just perfect, and I decided to pop in an inner corner of this kind of teal turquoise blue color, just because I feel like all my color all of my looks are becoming very similar my fall looks so that's just me personally just how I think I think very I'm very hard on myself but so it's just like I just pop a color in the inner corner and then I put on the scarf that has that kind of teal color in it so it just all kind of ties in and I'm kind of feeling like African princess -y, like I don't know with the kind of like African parent like headband and like I don't know, but um, I do really, really love this look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to leave me a suggestion on what color I should paint this wall, if I should paint it at all, what you would like to see next, and also make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat at Lon Yeezy. That way you'll know when I'm doing things, you know, behind the scenes and everything like that, and you can also check on what I'm doing. So I will see you guys very soon with the next video. Mwah. Bye! off this look i'm going to prime my lid i'm using my essence i love stage eyeshadow base i love using this eyeshadow base because it's kind of a skin tone color so that's going to really make the eyeshadows pop on your lid and you can get it at ulta for like three or four bucks it's so inexpensive then i'm going to go in with color pops 2at and it's just a kind of warm it's not a very reddish brown it's kind of like just a skin tone color it's kind of really close to my skin tone and it's just going to help those eyeshadows blend and transition really smoothly so i'm just applying that in my crease with a Sigma E35 blending brush. Then I'm gonna go in with NYX's Dance the Tides, which you guys can see that it's obviously one of my favorite shadows. <laughs> I'm applying that with a Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm putting that right into the socket of my crease just to add another layer of a transition shade because the chocolate brown that we're gonna go in with next is really, really dark. So you wanna make sure you have, you know, a layer and a transition. So then I'm going to go in with Sleek from The Balm. This is the new Tooth Palette, and I'm taking that on just this little, I don't even know where this brush came from. It's just a really, like, fine and really, like, 
small dense brush so I'm packing that out into my outer V and then I'm also blending that into my crease and I'm keeping this really low in my crease and pretty much in the socket of my crease just to add a little bit of definition and some depth and then I'm gonna go right back in with that E25 blending brush and just put a little bit more of dance the tides on it just to blend that out and I'm just doing small circular motions and buffing motions just to buff that color out to look blended there you go <laughs> then I'm going to take millionaire and this is a color pop super shock metallic eyeshadow and this is on a Sigma E56 lid brush and I decided to put this on the brush first just to direct exactly where I wanted the product to be and so like right up in my crease area I'm just like you know I'm just applying it right where I want it specifically then I'm taking my middle finger because it's kind of fat and it applies the product really well and I'm just dabbing that and swiping it all over my all over my lids so first I dab 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 and then once I get to the end I decide to swipe it just to give it more of a foiled metallic look I love this shadow it's so glittery glittery it's life <laughs> For liner, first I'm using my NYC Liquid Eyeliner, then I'm going to go in with my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner next. But I'm just drawing a wing liner, and today I decided to make my wing a little bit more intense. So I'm just drawing a line across my lash line, dragging it out, and bringing it back in. Then I'm going to go in with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner just to intensify the tail and to make it a little bit sharper. And then also where the edge is um, on my lid, I'm going to make that a little bit more sharp as well because it looks ragged. <laughs> For face, I'm using my Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminating Primer just to illuminate my face and to give my face, oh thanks, good job, phone, um, just to give my face a little bit of a glow, <laughs> sorry about that. Then for foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Coco, which I know it's really, really, really warm and I can't really control it because it's a drugstore foundation and I really do enjoy this foundation, it really does keep me matte, but it is very warm or orange or you know just just not very pretty you know what I mean so I'm just blending that all out with my beauty blender and just making sure I blend it down onto my neck and around my hairline and brows just so everything is blended out and then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and highlight in all of the areas that I usually highlight underneath my eyes down the center of my nose chin and my cupid's bow and then or oh, my center of my forehead as well then I'm just going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender and this is in the shade dark neutral so the neutral undertone is going to help balance out the warm under tone that we have all over our face so it's going to make it not seem as orange once we finish with the highlighting and everything like that and you just want to make sure that once you go over and blend out that highlight you just make sure you go over with the butt part of it that you use to blend out your foundation just to go over the edges so they don't look very stark to set that I'm going to use my Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder um, I just I forgot to apply a clip I was in the process and I'm like whoa I didn't use anything to set my face so I'm just applying that with my damp beauty blender in the areas where I highlight it just to set it and to make sure it soaks up any excess oil because I'm really oily and especially my T-zone and to also just make our face look really, really intense. And now we're cute. Yes. Then I'm going to brush all of that away with just a BH Cosmetics Fix Fluffy Brush and I let this sit on my face for about 5-10 to 10 minutes while I snap and watch other people's Snapchats and everything like that. So if you guys want to Snapchat me at Lon Yeezy, I will respond back to you guys. <laughs> uh, to contour, I'm going to use K3 in Sudan, which are Krylon eyeshadows. And I like to use these to contour because they're really dark and really intense and really rich. And they kind of have the ashy undertone, so it makes it really look like a contour, like a shadow, like a contour is supposed to. So I'm using a Real Techniques contouring brush to contour. I really like this brush. You can get it pretty much anywhere now, Walmart, CVS, pretty much anywhere. And I'm also going to contour down the side of my nose and I'm just using a big fluffy angled brush from BH Cosmetics that I got a couple years ago. And I'm just contouring my nose just to make it look a little bit more slimmer and defined. And then for blush, I'm going to use Milani's Rose D'Oro and this is just a really pretty pink blush. It just gives you that nice kind of flush of pink and it also has some sparkly undertones so you don't have to use a highlighter if you don't want to. But y'all know me, you know I'm extra so I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Wisp and this is a really pretty golden champagne highlight especially for darker skin tones because I know you guys always get on me about my super duper light highlighter so I decided to go in with this one. <laughs> and I'm also doing the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose to also give it a more slimming thinner effect. And we are going to win. Yes. 
Going back underneath of the eyes, I'm using Sleek again on that same brush, and I did apply a black eyeliner and in my waterline. Any any black eyeliner will work, and also my lashes are Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. They're really inexpensive. You can get them on LadyMoth.com. But then I'm going to go right back in with Dance the Tides and the E25 blending brush just to blend that all out so it looks really smoky. And for the inner corner pop of color, I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Endless Sea, and it's just a pretty kind of teal minty green color and it just really pops and ties in the whole look all together and it, it's just really pretty so I applied it with a little detailer brush and then I go in with this be it or the Sigma what is this the E36 blending brush just to buff it all out and to make it look a little bit more seamless and blended as opposed to really like oh my god for lips I'm using ColourPop's ultra matte lips lipstick liquid lipstick in the shade limbo which is a really pretty it's kind of like a rusty reddish brown shade it's not really like brown brown like the last tutorial that I had up but it's more so of a rusty kind of reddish brown but it's still really pretty <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, this look I really enjoyed how it came out don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe don't forget to let me know what color I should paint the back wall if I should at all and also leave me a comment on what I should film next or what you would like to see next and follow me on snapchat at line easy and I will see you guys very soon Mwah. bye